Good evening, East and Middle School families. This is Dr. Coleman with a principal update. We've just completed two weeks of virtual learning, and are you as exhausted as we are? In one week, our teachers are teaching 32 classes, and that does not include all of the planning and preparation that takes place behind the scenes. And I know my families are exhausted. You guys are juggling school schedules and work schedules while still trying to keep your house standing. It's a lot for everyone, but we are figuring this out together. We know there have been a few glitches, but we appreciate your patience as we work out all of the kinks. Each day, I think we get a little bit better. And we owe you guys a big thank you as you, fig as you work with us to figure out this virtual learning. I do have a few updates as we begin week three of virtual learning. Morning announcements. We try to send morning announcements each day at 7 o'clock a.m. These are for both the students and the parents, so please take time to read or listen to these announcements each day. The announcements are sent by email and text, and we post them on the Students' Frog page and Facebook. You can also access them on the Easton Middle School website in the Announcements section of that page. Second, our Commitment Survey. You should have received a link for a parent survey from Talbot County Public Schools. This is your opportunity to tell us whether or not you are comfortable with your student returning to the school building or if you wish your child to remain in the virtual setting until the end of the first semester, which is January 29th. We really need you to complete this survey for each student in your household. It's important that we receive your decision by Wednesday, September 23rd, that's this coming Wednesday. We have to have this number so we can plan for the safe return of students. When we know the number of students returning, we can determine how to social distance them in the classroom, in the common areas, and on the bus. We will also be able to determine which teachers will be teaching face-to-face -face and which teachers will be teaching virtually. Unfortunately, this does mean that schedules for students may have to change as well as teachers. Now, if you are wavering on your decision, it's better for you to opt to return to the school face-to-face. -face. We need to count you in our numbers as we begin figuring out how we're going to keep our students safe in the building. So again, if you're not sure which decision you're going to make, it's better to opt to return to the school building so that we have you in our count as we are making our plans. The third reminder is transportation. Uh, when we return to the school building, transportation is going to be a major undertaking. We will have to socially distance students on the bus, so the number of students on each bus will be limited. Now, for those families that live within one mile of Easton Middle School, you are considered in the walk zone. So bus transportation will not be provided for your child. We wanted to make you aware of this so that you could plan accordingly. This may also impact your decision on whether your child will return to the building or remain in a virtual classroom. The next announcement is attendance. Teachers are taking attendance each day. It is expected that students join in their Zoom classes Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So please make sure your child is signing on each day so that they are counted present in their classroom. Office hours. Teachers have daily office hours if students have questions. Now these office hours are located on each teacher's frog page. We also have a full list of those office hours on the announcement portion of the frog page and also on the Easton Middle School website. If you need to get a hold of a teacher, that's where you can go to figure out how to contact them, when to contact them, and the um, way in which to contact them. You can do it through Google Voice, calling the school, or emailing them. And finally, free and reduced meals. If you qualified last year or think you could qualify for free and reduced meals this year, please make sure that you complete our meal form. These forms are available at school and online. Again, I thank you guys for all of your support during our first two weeks of virtual learning. We couldn't have done it without you. If you have any questions, you know where to call us. It's at East Middle School at 410-822-2910. Have a great weekend, Easton Middle School parents.